don't write songs, do you? No, I don't write songs. I, I write hits. Yeah. I, I just don't feel that... I don't have time to write songs. I'm not that kind of songwriter. I, I don't sit down and go, hey, man, I'm going to write a song. Have you heard this? Hey, listen to this. You know, I'm like, if it doesn't sound like it's got the, the possibilities of being a hit, uh, then what's the point of writing it? Um, not every song I've written has been a hit. I haven't written that many songs, though, and I've had 150 hits or somewhere in that region. So I think the batting average is pretty good. I wanna kiss you all he one time was quoted as saying, I wish I could wake up one morning and not write a hit. Now that might sound egotistical, but at the time he said it, it was totally true. He has hook lines around in his head, you know, all the time. It's his cat. I had the whole top three in uh, in England, and uh, Susie Quattro was at number one, uh, Mud was at number two, and the Sweet were at number three. Then the next week, Mud went to number one, and Susie went to number three, and the Sweet went to number two. Mike has been involved with 70 number one records. Yes. So. Bye, 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 yeah, Mike Chapman, I mean, yeah, he's a very uh, legendary producer, but I would say the average Australian persons probably may not be aware of him. He was the most incredible person to work with. Not only because uh, he was so knowledgeable, but because he'd start drinking pepper vodka at midday. He's like, wow, okay. <laughs> well, He's a party animal. The drugs were everywhere. The, the women who were there were engaged in one form of sexual activity. I never found Mike too tough to handle, but what I found him to be was somebody I could look to to lead me where I wanted to go. The taskmaster, you know, he really made us concentrate and work very hard, be precise. When somebody says, oh, taskmaster, I think that just means that they weren't sure of themselves. I was always sure of myself. So all I took from Mike was even more strength. You know, take me up a step higher. Make me do a better vocal. Make me, make me play, but I was screaming for it. I like strong people. He really made us think in a more sophisticated way about music in general and about songwriting because he was such a great songwriter. Well, he wrote Ballroom Blitz. I mean, yeah. you know, when that yeah. guy gets, you, you can't say no to that. And it's like, okay, I'll work with anyone that's written something that great. I think that when he writes songs, you know, it's, a, it's a, again, it's about something that he feels personally emotional about and, and that's why they're good. Extraordinarily successful and extraordinarily talented, but had a, a world vision. You know, he had he got out of here because he's, he just went, "We've got to do this properly. I've got to get out of here." Nothing against here. It's just there are more people and more opportunity out there. Well, uh, Australia is my birthplace. It's um, obviously a place that I've never taken American citizenship because I don't want to be an American. I want to be an Aussie. I love being an Aussie. I think it's. It's a nice identity to have. Um, but apart from that, uh, it's, it's a, a breeding ground for music. It really and truly is. And